Being a Seminole has its advantages, but it's not built for everybody. Too much grit and tribulation have already proved that. For those who choose to be a Seminole, they will gain familiarity with these settings quickly. They'll stroll on these floors that many legends have walked before. The same floor that is coupled by the walls that echo the program's success. And although the path they walk has an end, the climb they take is always ongoing. The building stands as a weapon to the opposition who visit, but it also shields what it holds inside. It blocks off all the noise from the outside that disrupts their process. It's true, the outside chatter is thunderous, but for this team, their focus is only on themselves. Today marks a new day in the calendar of this team. You get to put it on display. Your heart, your identity, everything that makes this team so special. I don't want it to be easy. I want it to be challenging. But I get to watch you rise up. I get to watch you climb. Hi, Pat. Hi, Chase. Yo, my dog! Football is not just a season. It's the payoff from a full calendar of work. That includes the early spring, where this team is honing their ability in the early mornings. While the game day Saturdays are great, the wait is worth it. Coming to Florida State, uh, you know, being able to implement Artura duty was something that was uh, one of the key things in our transition. It, it is a foundational element of our program. You know, it's something that, uh, you know, is passed on year to year with with players and understanding expectation and just, uh, you know, the the strain and the um, the challenge of what it provides. With what tour duty is here and how we do it, how we implement it, it's not about the drills. It's not even about the work. It's about the, the intent behind it and the goal we're trying to achieve of raising the standard of how we operate. Today, regardless of what your group is, if you're in a newcomer group or an old guy group, right? Same thing I told our, our group. Pick one person per drill, right? And say, I'm gonna encourage that guy. I'm gonna make sure that guy finishes. I'm going to make somebody better. When I turn on the film and watch it, because I go through y'all's group and watch it too, just to see you guys. I don't want to see anybody sitting in the back I, just, I want to see guys up front and encouraging. You finish your rep, you make sure you finish all the way through. Everybody got me? Okay, here we go. Who's got it? Femme on me, femme on three. One, two, three. Femme. Femme. Big reason that we, we structure it the way that we do is, one, we, I mean, we want to strain our guys. Um, we want to put them in adverse situations. Walking into the building, it's the first time being around all of the players at one time. It's loud, Coach Norvell, he's hype. Tour duty is, I feel like it's the military. I, I can say hell. This is your Florida State debut. Let's just. And you know, one of the biggest things with tour duty, we, we want to replicate the the intensity and the the commotion and chaos of a practice of game day but now when you add in the guy giving you instructions is your position coach or your coordinator or the head coach that's holding you accountable to all those details there's a heightened level of anxiety that comes with that good hitting that chest popping back up good richard good rep yeah mason finish so it's not about just going through it oh i did the drill did you do the drill right in all aspects and if you didn't, well, there's only one way to do the drill. It's either the right way or again. And so the guys, we used to see them that if it's not done the standard, and then we roll it back, that group comes back. You know, whereas in the season, you don't get a do-over when you break a play. Last one. No, no, no. no go over there. Go up. And just the accountability of guy to guy. You know, if you're on the mat and we're six guys wide on the mat, you know you can do your part, but I gotta depend on my guy to my left and my guy to my right, my right to do their part as well for us to be successful as a group when we go out. Hey! 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 Let's go, pop up! Hey! It's no secret 
The work is demanding. But like all things in sports, it doesn't go unnoticed. Each individual's work is represented by their jersey. Well, I mean, you know, every, every day you go out there and you're graded. You're graded on your performance. You're graded on, you know, how you were able to execute in the moment. You know, there's guys that, you know, one day they'll, they'll be in a very high jersey because of a, a great performance. And, you know, they might drop down because of, you know, some mistakes that are made or, or maybe a, a moment of distraction. It's a good day or a bad day. You, know, you have to take ownership for what you put out, you know, you're on the field that day. So with your eyes, we did a better job of it. But as I come off that ball and I get to the top end of my route, when I raise my pass, what's going to happen? The DB is breaking on you. All right, so I got to lead with the top number as I come off the ball. I got to learn to live in that position. All right, from your start all right, to the top end. All right, so I got to leave with the top numbers and stay there. You guys understand me on that? Going through the tour of duty as a receiver, for one, it makes you mentally tough. You know, because, you know, we're focused on a lot of guys want to catch the football, want to score touchdowns, all those different things. Uh, but how do you do it? What up, bro? Good. Good, baby? What's up with that house? Just walked up. Huh? Just walked up. Is that what it is? I got it's, you. It's too old to be worried about. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. I, I, I hear you. Mine won't grow. Me and Coach Doogie's relationship is, is like, he's like my, my father. Somewhat of a father figure to me. Definitely a dependable person that I can rely on. Yes, sir. Attack it. He won't meet D. Will and Jakar. You feel me? To lead the room is for we the older guys in the room now. At first, we we was the young guys, but now with the tables turned, we the older guys. As of me as a senior and seeing like all the newcomers, I know what to, I know what to expect and I know what to do. So, all right, but understand this. All right, within this, the, the tour of duty, the things you guys are doing this all season. All right, we're creating habits. Well, the big, the biggest thing uh, with with that in that room, for one, we got to be selfless. Am I being a great teammate? when I don't have the ball in my hand? Am I on the perimeter blocking? Am I giving great effort? You know, am I finishing my routes? Come on, Tron. Come on, Tron. Come on, Tron. You know, I'm helping guys get yards out of the catch by finishing my routes and blocking downfield. Especially with the receiver room, with the new guys that came in and the guys that been here, you know, it's just it's a lot of speed, a lot of guys that could go up top, a lot of guys that could make guys miss. So this, this receiver room will be special. Having a diversely talented receiver room is good news for any football team, but it's even greater for a quarterback. Tribe 24 saw the addition of a veteran signal caller in DJ Uyunglele. But to tour of duty, it's another beginner. Get on the line! Get on the line! Go, 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 go! Uh, I think the tour of duty is different here. I think the intensity is through the roof. Um, yeah, I've done tour duties and some type of like mat drills and stuff like that. But the intensity, the attention to detail here, and then just like Coach Norvell, he's intense. Like he's, he's an intense guy. Um, and then he's like that 24 7. For the first time in years, the Seminoles will not have the luxury of Jordan Travis at quarterback. Although it's an inevitable reality, there's a strong belief in Tallahassee that this quarterback room has what it takes. I think that they all want to prove their worth, but they truly want to make each other better. And I think that's something that, that is a lasting legacy that, that Jordan leaves on the room, um, as he really wanted to see other people be successful. So us, a, a goal in our room is to be the best version of yourself so you can help your teammates become the best version of themselves. Yeah, I think the vibe in the co quarterback room is dope. I think we have some unbelievable quarterbacks in the room, and I feel like we're all unique in our own way, but uh, we're close in the quarterback room. I know Coach Tokars always talks about that. He wants us to be the closest. I think we've done a good job so far, but I know Brock, he's done a good job. For me, man, he's been someone that's been dope. Like to see a young guy like that and be able to just kind of like, you know, just ask me different stuff, help me out in the weight room and stuff. I could just go talk to him, about ask him just regular stuff like that. And he's just a cool guy. Encourage, encourage, do it when you're tired. Where does your mind go when you're tired? Where does your mind go when you're tired? You know, today was our last uh, tour duty workout. Uh, really been really been pleased uh, with the work from the guys, and I think that's a group that uh, really has some very talented, uh, you know, young men and explosive movers and what they're doing. Just you know, continuing to push to understand the, the standard of how we operate and to be able to apply that uh, when things get really tough. You know. 
as we go through you know the work I mean you got to listen to it do an instruction you got to apply it and then you got to react to whatever shows up um, not not a whole lot different than when you get out there and, you know plays are being called and you've got to you got to adapt you got to adjust and, and then you react to whatever you see so uh, definitely excited about what I'm seeing and you know looking forward to to seeing these guys uh, translate the the uh, the agility and and the uh, and the strength and you know take it out there on the practice field the payoff of hard work is like no other. That stands true for defensive back Azarie Thomas. The Northwest Florida native is back in his hometown to accept the All Sports Association Collegiate Player of the Year Award. <laughs> What's going How you on, doing? Man? How you Accompanying him is his family, including his brother Wanye Thomas, a defensive back for the Dallas Cowboys that is sharing the stage with his brother to take home the Professional Player of the Year Award as well. <laughs> My brother being there with me, I went home and just sat. I'm just, I'm just looking up at the ceiling. I'm just like, it's crazy. Like, two brothers at the same, like getting the same award. Me getting the collegiate, him getting the professional. <laughs> so you guys got a competition all the time for who's better at what? Anything. I know y'all all the time have competitions. He, he, he knows I, better. He knows, but like I give him, <laughs> I give him his props because he's what I'm saying. <laughs> he gonna be. Oh, okay. He's, going to be, like, he's got a chance. Huh? He, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep him level headed. <laughs> yeah. I gotta bond with all my siblings, but specifically Azaria, man. Azaria keep me going, man. Uh, that's my twin. We call each other twins because, you know what I'm saying? We have the same mindset, we have the same drive, like, we have the same hunger in life, uh, and we're both in a opportunity now that we can we can take care of our family for the rest of our lives, you know, so uh, Zara means the world to me, so. And a Napa sipping. So, well, I don't know why they chose that picture, though. It's hard. Bro. By yeah. Shul Shulper and Issing as a seven-night resort stay for four people. Huh? In the bar, no, Mayurta, Mira Maya, Acapulco, and Oro, Pensacola. He's somebody that, you know, coming out of high school, you know, he really did it all. He was on offense, defense, you know, did was a, was a great player. I mean, just growing up in Niceville, man, I'd have had a, I'd have had a ton of lessons um, that I've learned from. Um, just being around other, uh, other people, other teammates, experiencing other lifestyles and. It's been nothing short of a blessing, man. So. But you know, coming into Florida State, you know, being able to make that impact, you know, being able to to, to really hit the ground running from his first year, and, and to be able to get on the field and, and do the things that he's done, and I think he's still just now scratching the surface to what he's going to be able to accomplish. Great play by Azaria Thomas. He's a pro. Great play downfield by. Azaria Thomas. You know, just his attention to detail, the, the way he, he wants to be great. He stays after practice, do the little things. And he, he he's a walking pro, man. So the sky's the limit for the kid. Folks, your All Sports Association Male Collegiate Award winner, Mr. Azaria Thomas. First off, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for placing me in this position to receive this reward for his glory. I also want to thank the All Sports Association and its supporters. Without you guys, this would not have been possible. To my family, thank you, especially my mom. The sacrifice and love you showed us since we were little and still do to get us here will never go unnoticed. You always did for us and put yourself on the back burner. We always ate first and you would eat what's left. We always had clothes on our back, but you would struggle to find a shirt to wear. I never really understood why you did what you did until I got to college and started becoming a young man and growing in my faith that I learned the true blessing in life is all about giving rather than receiving. You always tried to set that example for us to use our God-given talents and abilities. And for that, I thank you, Ma. Last but not least, for all the young kids out there, college athletes, and even adults here today, I want to leave y'all with just one thing, and that's to know the opinions, of, the opinions of others or label they might try to put on you will never triumph your identity in Christ. Thank you, God bless. Congrats. Come on, brother. I told you, man, not to make me cry. Getting emotional because my family here, I got my brother here, and for me to get this award and him getting it and meeting the world, man. Good. And like my brother was saying, my mom made sure we ate first. 
she ain't last. I got a picture in my locker of my family. Cause my family is everything to me. You come here. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Me. It has helped me. So I just want to say thank you all so very much. Okay. I, I feel like that, that that has never really happened before. Like she, like people really acknowledging her and wanting her to come up on stage. Like it's always been about us, about her kids, about us. But she never really got all that. I mean, we got all the shine, quote unquote, um, the glory and all that, but I feel like my mom never did. So I feel like that moment, it was just like, so I'm like, hold on, my mom. I'm like, yeah, I saw her walking out. I'm like, Elsa, my mom come to here. My kids mean the world to me. Even when they're grown and have their own children, they're still gonna be my little boys. Celebrate each other, support each other. When you get there, you get on that bar, you can't do that by yourself. It takes oh. everybody in this room to help you move that way. How would you describe squat party? Ah, uh, a party. <laughs> <laughs> Party, that's the that's the, the culmination of our winter training program. That's usually in our in our final week of the winter program, typically week eight. It's a test week. It's an opportunity to you know take a take a one rep max or a heavy single. It's the culmination of the hours that they put in with Coach Storms. It's something again that is physically and mentally tough. It builds physical and mental toughness. Everybody's behind you, it's loud, the music's cranking, and you know, guys are pulling for each other. It, it creates camaraderie. And usually, the guys that are cheering the loudest, that are the most invested in that guy's progress and that guy's process, is the same exact guy he's competing for the same exact snaps with come spring ball in a week. And I think when you can see a group that supports each other and loves each other like that, 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 that pays huge dividends in the What's the locker room feel like? What's practice feel like? Talk about climb a lot here, and you, you look at the B for brotherhood, but I think that's a great example of brotherhood in our program. That support's powerful, right? What if we support each other like that in the locker room if we're down 10 at halftime? What can happen then? And I think last year we saw several times what that support, what that belief in yourself, what that belief in your teammates can do for you. You know, that, that speaks volumes about Coach Storms, uh, Coach Novell, and what we're trying to build here. And I think that that squat party is a huge part of our climb. 